In this world, I'm stranded on an island in the middle of an ocean filled with trash. If I want to have any hope of building a shelter and surviving, I'm going to have to collect resources from more than just these two trees. So, the random debris in the ocean can be rotten flesh, sticks, driftwood, and trash bags. And these trash bags are going to be important because a lot of the special loot you can get is from placing them down and breaking them open. Our main two goals for today are to one, use all the trash we get to craft and discover other resources. And two, to then use everything we get to establish a home base and survive on the island. Using some plastic we got from the trash bag, we can craft up some strings. And we'll need the string in order to make our first fishing rod. Now the reason we need a fishing rod here is because for items like this, we can't jump in the water. We gotta make sure we grab them with the rod, otherwise we could get swept away by the current. I'm gonna spend some time collecting this trash so we can get some nice resources to start us off. I think I'm on like my third fishing rod uh, and it's almost dead so let's go ahead and crack open some more of these trash uh, bags here so that we can get some more plastic to uh, make another fishing rod. Oh, we got an iron ingot. Huh? That's gonna be good. We're gonna need to get a lot of those. Oh, another one? I think those are pretty rare. Make sure I'm not missing any trash. Oh, there's one. Oh, and there's my fishing rod. Come on, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 I can't. Ah. I need to eat some food so I can swim. This might be a lost cause. I had made a big mistake. The current on this island is impossible to fight. The only way to get back is to swim under the current where it's weaker, but it's a long way down and I didn't have much air. Oh, but then we gotta get our air to breathe. Oh. Okay, let's fill up on air and we'll swim back down. Come on, we can get back up, we can get back up. Oh, come on. No. Oh, I'm so close. Come on, no, not like this. Underwater hills like this are especially difficult because to go forward, you have to go up, but going up means being back in the current. Not like this, man, come on, please. You got me back. Oh, I don't want to die. Well, unfortunately, I, I think we're just going to have to let this one go. At least that will serve as an important lesson. <laughs> the ocean is not to be messed with. And lucky for me, that lesson was learned early. It's much better to lose a couple of trash bags at the start than to lose some potentially far more valuable loot later. All right, <laughs> and just like that, it's like it never happened. All right, so I got another 19 trash bags. I'm gonna crack them open and see what's inside. But unfortunately, my luck was not as good as before. Only getting one iron nugget this time. So it was back to more trash fishing. I'm getting so tired of hearing this sound. Well, the sun is coming up on day three, I believe. And I now officially have one full stack of trash. I am the king of trash. Or maybe just trash videos. In those couple pieces of trash, we actually got some really crucial... We got some really crucial ingredients here. If you're a veteran Minecraft player, or even a beginner for that matter, you've probably realized the recipes I've used are a bit different than the vanilla ones. And that's because the progression in this map has been totally reworked to center around the incoming trash. For example, you can only make a crafting table 
after you've made a sawmill. So early game recipes have been changed to be crafted in a 2x2 two two window instead. And since we just got our fourth iron nugget, that means we can now make an ingot. I also got two flint from the trash, which will allow us to craft a pickaxe. And those two things together are really going to kick the progression into gear. Because combining cobblestone with an iron ingot, we now get our first workstation, the sawmill. And using that, we can process our driftwood into planks to finally make a crafting table. All right, now the game begins. So now that we have the sawmill, I want to go ahead and make a little enclosure here. Of course, this enclosure isn't for me. This is for our new friend, who we get three chances at here. All right, come on. This is only a 1% drop out of those trash bags, so let's hope these aren't a waste. Oh, okay, there's the first one. And the second. Okay, one more. You gotta be kidding. I guess we'll have another lonely night on the island. <laughs> is that dolphin playing with trash? That's so sad. Guys, every like on this video will replace one piece of trash with one dolphin toy so that dolphins don't have to play with trash anymore. I think it's probably about time we improved our eating situation. Let's turn half of these bones into bone meal. Let's see if we can get ourselves a seed or something here. All right, well, that was easy. Since I don't have a bucket, we are gonna have to build this right down into the water here. So I guess we just kind of build out from here. Oh, and it also kind of works as a nice little item catch. <laughs> oh no! Because the cropland wasn't a full block, crouching couldn't stop me from falling in. Thinking quick, I decided to throw the trash I had towards the island in a last stitch effort to save something valuable. I should have known better. I should have known better. As I had learned, there wasn't much reason to fight at this point, and I decided to accept my fate. But then, I had the most insane stroke of luck. <gasps> the dolphin! The dolphin's gonna save me! Come on, dolphin's grace! Yes! Yes, no way! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dolphin, and my trash! No way! That dolphin had decided that my life was worth saving and granted me Dolphin's grace. Holy Mr. Dolphin. Thank you, sir. <laughs> How can I ever repay you? You know, I think after everything that's happened and everything that these dolphins have been through, I think it only makes sense that we name our island something to honor them. So I think we go with eBay, which is, I, I'm uh, supposed to, that was, I can't make a dolphin noise. Now that we have a, a, an island name, I think it's probably also about time for us to have our first actual, actual build. <laughs> so let's go ahead and build a dock out on the front of this island so we can welcome in all the new visitors to eBay. Now I'm admittedly not a big fan of this, uh, this driftwood that bears an eerie resemblance to my least favorite kind of wood. So for this dock, I think what we're actually gonna do is turn some of these slabs into composters so that the posts can look a little bit nicer. And I'll probably swap this out as soon as I can. All right, I think I kind of want to offset it a little bit to the side here. <gasps> Wait a second. I have a whole other kind of wood. So let's go ahead and just turn all of these palm logs here into palm planks. This height? I guess we just plop these composters on the side? Wait, what if I fill up the composter? I guess since we are on a trash island, it makes sense that it looks kind of dirty, but then maybe we just put... Yeah, that really doesn't look too bad. It just kind of looks like a, an old dirty dock. Just a, a dirty, dirty dock. Oh, I <laughs> didn't mean to make 54 fences. 
Well, on the bright side, I mean, <laughs> if it looks like trash, that, then I think we're right on the nose. <laughs> So there's a couple things I'd like to add to the dock once we uh, unlock some new resources, but for now, since I can't do that yet, I want to go ahead and build our first home. So let's get some resources. For our starter house, I really want to build a little hut that fits the whole castaway theme. And for that, the first block on our list is some hay. In the process of gathering up some wheat, I was using some shears to open up garbage bags, and I got a piece of bamboo. And because this is 1.20, that's gonna be huge for our building pallet. So I started farming it right away. And I underestimated the speed that it actually grows. <gasps> Yo, that's, <gasps> what? <laughs> I didn't realize it grows that fast. And while I was gathering wheat, I used all the bamboo that grew to further expand the farm. And now it's just a matter of waiting for our bamboo to grow. And while we wait for that bamboo to grow, let's use our fishing rod for its other purpose. And that's of course, normal fishing. Oh, you know what? So I just broke my last fishing rod and I just remembered there's actually two different kinds of recipes for a fishing rod. We can actually get a better rod, <laughs> which doesn't really make a difference for picking up trash. But when it comes to fishing, you can get Ooh, different items. <laughs> you can get different items. Uh, so it looks like we just pulled a clay ball with that one. <laughs> that clay ball went flying. All right. Looks like our bamboo's ready for a good harvest in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so satisfying. With our resources and items all gathered, it was finally time to start building. with how they came out. Oh, that looks so good. Awesome, awesome. Now, all that we got left to do is move in. We'll move our bed inside for the first night. And after sorting chests and cleaning up my island, I decided I wanted to tackle just a couple small projects. Let's make this actually, yeah, we'll make this into a nice little campfire area. I kind of like that. And we'll toss that, I think, right there. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh, I'm so excited, our island's coming together so well. And with that done, I just got one more thing I wanna try. We actually should have, yes, we have five more eggs, okay. We get five shots at having a new friend here. Come on, come on, please. <sighs> okay, so not on that one. <gasps> Yo, we got a new friend! <laughs> Welcome to the island, buddy! Um, actually what I want to do, since we have an insane amount of seeds, is let's grow our friend up here. There you go! Okay, I think... He looks like a Chester to me. Yeah, he looks like a Chester for sure. Chest Chester the chicken! That works so well! <laughs> Chester. <laughs> Hello, Chester. Well, with that, I think that's been a, a pretty successful first episode. Now, I should also mention, this map was one that I created and I do intend on releasing it at the end of the series. And this series is kind of 
is kind of going to be a test run for it. Um, just to just to make sure everything feels balanced and works well. So if you guys have any ideas for the data pack as far as like progression or crafting or, or anything, uh, definitely let me know because I very well could add it into it. Um, there has been some stuff you guys have not seen yet that you'll be seeing in the upcoming episodes here. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, and with that, I will catch you guys next time. Say bye to Chester. Say bye to Chester right now.